In this video, we will zoom in on the diet of the elite athletes in Kenya, the home of many of the world's fastest marathoners. Studying the diets of elite runners can not only be a fun comparison to your own nutritional intake, it can also be a great way to better appreciate and confirm many of the scientifically proven nutritional concepts. I hope this video might help you as well to improve your recovery and health a bit. Small changes in diet can accumulate to large health differences over time. I've been in Kenya before and I've seen the lifestyle of many of the Kenyan runners. Like many aspects of life of an athlete in rural Kenya, it was simple and repetitive. The protein consumption of the athletes is quite low. Most athletes rarely eat meat more than once a fortnight. It could be argued that the reason that a lot of the runners ate this way because they cannot afford to buy more expensive foods. A lot of them are living only on a couple of dollars a day or from the family income. The Kenyan success in middle and long distance running, especially among male athletes, has been one of the most astonishing features of international athletics since the mid 1960s. Training and competing at an elite level in the middle and long distance requires an optimal functioning of the body. To perform and recover well during training, they need to rely on adequate nutritional intake for sufficient energy. There have been multiple studies after the Kenyan runner's diet. In a study from 2002, the researchers simply asked a large group of Kenyan runners to recall their diet for the past 24 hours. Another study in 2004, which was a little bit more thorough, and followed a group of 10 runners and recorded their food intake for 7 days. Despite the study was performed 20 years ago, their diet hasn't changed over the years that much. Looking at the figures from the study, their diet consists of 84% carbs, 6% fat, 10% protein. The energy intake was mainly derived from vegetable sources, namely 90%, with maize and kidney beans as a staple food for 81%. Despite not knowing much about the science of sport nutrition, the diet of these Kenyan runners was surprisingly close to that recommended by sport nutritionists. The diet of those Kalenjin runners met recommendations for endurance athletes for total protein and most essential amino acids intake as well as well as carbohydrate intake, even though it was based on a small range of food items. So what is it that they are mainly eating? Their main carbohydrate intakes come from ugali. It's made from a mice meal and it's cooked in water to form a sort of corn cake. It's high in starch and has a very plain flavor. I've tasted Kenyan ugali and some find it quite boring. I like the texture though. I now cook it off to myself as well. It's also very easy to make. They combine ugali with managu, a dark leaf green, somewhat like spinach. Besides ugali, they also often eat bread. The athletes seem to eat bread quite a lot, as well as chapati. It's a sort of Indian style bread, similar to naan. And they also eat rice, of course, frequently, combined with beans. For breakfast, they also might drink some porridge sometimes. Their main protein intake comes from a type of red bean, probably the most protein rich food they frequently eat. They are also often eating eggs alongside a dish of magano and ugali. Sometimes, mostly once or twice a week, a portion of beef or chicken is added to their diet. They of course also take snacks in the day. They most frequently consume snacks like fruits such as banana or mango. Banana is my favorite snack of the day as well. And last, they drink lots of English tea. Some sort of chai tea is black tea with lots of milk. At what time of the day? Do the Kenyans eat and train. Generally, elite runners have a pattern of eating five times a day, combining three main courses with two snacks. Typically, their meals broke down as such. The 8 a.m. breakfast, the 10 a.m. mid-morning snack. After this, they will include naps for a minimum of one and a half hours. Napping adds additional recovery by adding extra sleep during the day. At 1 p.m. they have lunch. At 4 p.m. there's an afternoon snack and at 7 p.m. they have dinner. For reference, the Kenyan long distance runners train two times a day. The morning session begins at 6 a.m. They usually do a track session, tempo run or harder interval in the morning. In the afternoon, they run an easy four to six miles, around 10 kilometers. Here's a look at an average weekly training schedule of a Kenyan elite long distance runner. On Monday, they start with a 50 kilometer progressive run. 
in the afternoon, a 10 km recovery run. On Tuesday, we have in the morning a track session, most of the time at the Kipchoge Stadium in Eldorado. PM, they do a 10 km recovery run. At Wednesday, they do some stretching or strength exercises. In the afternoon, another recovery run. On Thursday, they add another progressive run, which can be between 20 and 40 kilometers. PM, there's again a small recovery run. This Thursday can also be switched with a fartlek training. On Friday, they do sometimes strength training again or have rest. In the afternoon, recovery session. On Saturday, they have an interval session or hill repeats. And in the afternoon, they recover or have a recovery run. On Sunday, there's again a long run, which is pretty slow. In the afternoon, they rest up again. I hope you enjoyed this crash course about Kenyan diet and lifestyle. The success in running lies most part in a repetitive pattern and a simple lifestyle. This repetitive and simple pattern also shows in the diet. Feel free to ask any questions about the Kenyan running lifestyle down below in the comments. More footage about training and diet tips will be coming your way. If you still go out there today, have fun out there and get on the run!